So, one of our own, Tyler, born Tyna Laura Sito, on the 30th of January, 2002, is making head waves. And for some reason, I'm like the only person that is unhappy. Now don't get me wrong, okay? Like I'm, I'm happy, like, like see, like I don't hate to, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm happy that like, hey, yo, like, yeah, she, she's doing her own thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, and this is not to ridicule her, she, she's amazing. She makes great music, I mean, my favorite song by her is, um, Thinking About You. Oh, dear, oh. Like, <laughs> I sound like a fan right now. And on top of that, she is beautiful, very beautiful. Um, I've probably had like a little crush on her that I probably didn't even know about. I mean, yeah, other niggas are crushing on her, and she's crushing what she's doing. Um, you know her own thing. I don't want to say she came out of TikTok. I feel like that is just belittling like her. But would I be lying? Look, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Because she's absolutely going crazy right now. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about her song Water, which was released June or July, if I'm not mistaken. And as we're currently speaking, bro, it is sitting at 74 million streams on Spotify. Which is absolutely fucking crazy. 74. Sit. Bro, that is more than the population of our country. But our population has like, what, 65 million? Sit. Bro. You see, that's one thing they're never gonna see. And I'm saying. She literally has more streams than the whole population of our country. That is fucking crazy, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. And I feel like the only artist that we've seen come close to this. Okay, I, I might be mistaken. I might be mistaken. But me personally, the only artist that I've seen come close to this is Nasty C. And it wasn't his track. It was a track he was featured on. Um, the song that I'm talking about, particular. Dope track. Um, it's currently sitting. Well, last I checked, it was at like 19 million. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and tell me who's come closest to breaking mainstream for an artist that comes from South Africa. And I've seen people say Doja Cat, Doja Cat. Doja Cat does not get included in the conversation because number one, yo, she the devil's advocate is is beyond her. She the devil's, and she she doesn't even fuck with us like that. So um, I don't think we will be adding her to the list. So yeah, it's like it's time. Time is literally the first. She is the first to have. Broken into mainstream media from from South Africa, and I really don't have a reason to be upset. To be honest, like I don't know, she is talented. I'm not saying she's a one-hit wonder. I'm not, I'm not saying any of that. I'm not even gonna say pretty privilege. She's talented. I mean, she she got signed to to Epic Records in 2021. Crazy. From from a single getting late, she's been going crazy ever since. And what's ironic is I was actually doing that time I was gonna make a video about her if I did it would have been ironic because I was gonna talk shit and when I say talk shit bro I'm not even saying like as to her music or what as I said her music is not trash bro but I was basically what I was gonna talk about and I still remember I was gonna talk about her deal with epic records I was gonna talk about how record labels are not just fucking people up in general but like our people in general because when we look at elaine she literally only dropped one project 
and we've seen multiple pictures of her in the studio with multiple artists but we saw elaine in the studio with jay is it, is it jay electronica we saw elaine in the studio with sabrina claudia where the fuck are those songs bro how many international artists has nasty c been posted up with post malone the baby where are those songs dog where are those songs Bruh. And that that's really what I was gonna like talk about how we should stay away from these major labels because they're fucking us over. I mean, bro, they literally ended some people's careers, but like they've kind of put things to a stop. But here we are. Fast forward. She's killing it. She's on first bro, first South African to break the billboard hot 100 in 50 years, bro. The last person to do this was Hugh Masekela, dog. 50 years, bro. But I'm not happy. And the Grammy goes to... Water. Tyler. Another thing, I was always like, why do South Africans, why do we always have to be put in these smaller charts and not even charts, categories, my nigga, categories. When it comes to Grammys, why do we always have to be, be put in best international art, like international artist? I want artist of the year, nigga. Artist of, don't put me in, in the fucking subcategory, bro. Put me in the main category. It's that was my chat and that shit has basically happened now but i'm not happy why am i not happy this is because i'm an artist too you know what i'm saying i guess i'm venting right now i thought i'd be the first to break mainstream you know what i'm saying which is it's crazy bro it's crazy i know but i, I thought i'd be the first bro because in my head, apart from the music, in my head, in my head, I'm a marketing genius. Let me say that. In my head, I'm a marketing genius. And it's like, I know of the ways to actually get my music out there. It's like, I, I have the blueprint, even though I might not be using it as of currently. But it's like, in my head, I'm a marketing genius. And it's like, I got some songs, bro. I, got, I really got some songs. Not just, yeah, I'm gonna make those songs. I got some songs that I feel like, yo, could be on the billboard. That shit, that, that's crazy hearing that. But I guess it's because, like, I'm a dreamer. Like, I dream a lot. I should be sleeping and dreaming. Dreaming of, yeah. Being the first to do this. Being the... I mean, dog, as an artist, they would have hit different to be like, yeah, I was the first artist from South Africa to be on the billboard in 50 years, nigga. So why am I unhappy? It can't just be at the fact that I wish I was the first to, you know, blow up, go mainstream. In the future, it could be like, I put this type of energy out in the universe, hence I'm getting it back. And, you know, something happens to me in the future and my, my music career just goes down the chain, something like that, bro. But, like, it's not even that. I'm saying, I'm just genuinely being honest. Like, I'm, I'm unhappy, bro. I think I've stated everything that I wanted to state. Look, I guess the anti anticlimax of this all is, look, I might not be the first, but I'm definitely going to be the second. Like, that's, that's my mindset right now. Might not be the first, but I'm gonna be the second. Trust. And, hey man, as I said, I'm a big dreamer. I dream a lot. Man, if I had to tell you about some of my dreams, like, you know, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to get the number one spot on, on Billboard Hot 100, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I guess that, that's what it comes down to is that I might not be the first. But I'm definitely gonna be the second and I'm definitely gonna do it and I'm definitely 
gonna make it but to to all to all the viewers and hey man i don't know to, to tyler keep crushing it man keep crushing it keep keep making south africa proud because they are definitely proud of you you know what i'm saying they are definitely proud of you and i'm proud too it may not seem like that i mean <laughs> the title of the video after all is called why i am unhappy for tyler but deep down i am proud bro i am proud 